Everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Hey, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for uh, taking your time to actually uh, join me to be a part of this. And uh, this is actually episode three of season two. And you can see um, I'm actually, it's nighttime. Uh, just kind of, you know, decided I want to record a podcast. I've been thinking about something that's on my mind. I thought this would be a perfect mindset Monday episode. And the, the title of the episode is you have a choice. Now <laughs> I was thinking about naming it. You always have a choice. And I, I don't like doing extremes and I, I always struggle with that. So I just want to say that you have a choice. And so what do I even mean by that? What am I, what am I talking about? It's actually, uh, it's funny. I, I use this joke and if you it's kind of behind the scenes of being a speaker, you, you kind of know like, hey, can, like, if I can get a laugh out of people really quick, it will make my life so much easier uh, when I'm speaking. So when I'm speaking to a school district, you know, on a professional learning day, and they're all there because, you know, they have to be there. It's, it's part of their learning. Uh, the first thing I, I will say to these groups, and I don't say this at conferences because it's a little bit different dynamic, but I do say it when I'm in a school district, I'll say, uh, Hey, thank you so much for being here today. I know you didn't have a choice, but I appreciate it anyway. It always, it always gets a laugh every single time. And I think about it because a lot of people are kind of grumpy, you know, they don't necessarily want to be there. And sometimes it's actually, uh, it's actually, you know, their professional learning days maybe haven't been that great before. So it's not necessarily something that they're looking forward to. And one of my goals when we do professional learning is that people are like, wow, that was awesome. Like, I, I want to do this again. I want to, you know, that's the kind of experience I want to have. I often, I often think that I want to actually, when I'm part of a professional learning day with a school district, my goal is to make it so good that they're going to, they're going to say like, how do we actually make this better next time? Like, how do we actually, you know, top what we did and, and put some pressure on that? Because if you have this really incredible day, people are more likely to be excited about it, um, you know, as you go forward. But going back to that little joke that I make uh, when I say, hey, I appreciate you being here. I know you don't have a choice, uh, but I pre or appreciate, appreciate it anyway. The truth is you do have a choice. And it's something that I think about, right? And a lot of times in, in our work, in our professional lives, we can feel stuck. We can feel stuck in our jobs. And I think sometimes we have to kind of step back and ask ourselves, is this really what I want? And I'll give you uh, uh, an example from my own personal career. Uh, I've mentioned this several times, you know, in my work, in my podcasts, that um, I was actually in a school district, and I almost wanted to say stuck. But when I say the word stuck, I, I don't want it to make it sound like somebody was forcing me to stay there. I, I was stuck. I was stuck in the school district that... I, I didn't want to be in, and it wasn't because the school district wasn't great. I actually love uh, a lot of the staff. I'm still friends with many of them uh, on that staff, but I think just at the time of my life, it was a small town. Uh, I, I felt really isolated, kind of on my own. Uh, I was a single guy at the time, and I felt like this, I, I, I really don't like being here, and I felt that outside uh, my professional life, I was actually really struggling that actually you know, I thought I need a change of scenery. I need to do something different. And so kind of every year I would half-heartedly apply for jobs to other schools and districts. And I kind of always felt like, Hey, you know what? I am, um, you know, I'm going to try to see even get out of here. And I think every year that I, I wasn't getting a job, wasn't getting an opportunity, I was getting more and more frustrated. And then I think about my fourth year in, I was like, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. And, and it didn't happen. And I, and I was really, really upset. And then I repeated again. And eventually I had to come to terms with that. I'm not happy. I don't see myself doing this for the next few years. I, I don't want to be in the space. And I actually have mentioned, I, I didn't want to be part. I, I didn't want to be a teacher anymore. I really didn't know what else I was going to do at the time, but I, I just felt I was really kind of becoming miserable. And I especially realized that as I look back, um, at that time. And, and you, you kind of, sometimes you have to be out of the situation to actually fully recognize, um, the situation. And so in my fifth year, I basically decided 
whether I get a job or not, I'm out, I'm gone. And I committed to that. I committed to that. I'm leaving. I am not happy. This is not a good place for me. And so what happened was I wasn't half-heartedly looking for other options. I was very determined to find something else because, you know, I had to find a job. I had to, you know, make money to survive and the connection. And basically, once I basically decided that something was going to happen, I ended up actually getting a job in another school district uh, through some uh, chain of events. And it was in a different city. It was a, a different opportunity for me. But I was so happy that I went. I, I don't think it would have ever happened if I hadn't decided, no matter what, I'm out. I am out this year. Uh, I need this change of scenery. And so when I, I, I bring this up, and I think one of the reasons I want to talk about this, you know, near the beginning of the year, which is, you know, the second part of the school year, is that some people are listening to this right now, and they might not be happy with their jobs. And it's really easy to like, say like, I have a terrible principal, terrible administrator, I don't like my superintendent, all that stuff. And uh, <laughs> that all might be true. That all might be true. But if you're going to wait for them to go, they might stay forever, right? And it just, every year you're doing that, it's, I think it sometimes get worse. And sometimes we just got to step back and, and make that choice that we're going and realize we do have that power. We do have that opportunity. And like I said, I didn't want to say you always have a choice, but a lot of times you do. And it's like, are you actually, once you make that choice, you do have to figure out a next step. You do have to figure that out. But if you kind of waffle on it, that's where we that's where we start to struggle. And one of the things that happened when I went to this new school district was I got this job and I, I swore because I, I struggled finding a job for years and years and years. And like I said, I became more and more determined. And I said to myself, I will never, ever fight for a job the way that I did like that. I will never, ever actually put myself where I'm not seen as like a top candidate, where I'm like, you know, getting turned down for jobs and doing this stuff. So I like really retooled myself. And what was beautiful about it, this new space where nobody knew me and I basically started from zero, I created a new version of myself because nobody knew me, right? Nobody knew this connected. And I, to be honest, you know, I haven't applied for a job since I've, I've got jobs I've, I've been, uh, you know, asked to go to become an assistant principal. I got promoted to that principal, got called to central office and I get to speak. And it, it, it was, it was because of what I did in that time. And I, I basically made that choice. I've got to figure this out. And, and that's part of it. And so I always like to think about this on the professional level, but then think about where have I done this in my personal life? And as many of you know, uh, I've talked about this a lot. I actually have lost a significant amount of weight, but I remember one of these moments that was really tough for me. And, and the moment was really tough. Uh, I, I love clothes. I know that I'm not really dressed up. It's this late at night. I'm wearing, you know, Canadian toque, Seattle Kraken, go Kraken. I don't, that is a, it was $10. So I bought it. <laughs> it's a cool logo. I don't really follow hockey that much anyway. It's cool toque, right? If you're Canadian, cool toques, gotta have them. So I really love clothes. And I, I love dressing up. I love, I just love that feeling. I just love trying to look good and trying on different styles. Obviously, I have a big shoe collection. You can see, you know, some of my shoes behind me, whatever. And I actually just started, you know, as I gained weight, I just was really frustrated because I would go try on clothes and I just hated how they looked. And a lot of them didn't fit. And I found that some of my options were gone. And I remember actually being in a big and tall store and being really frustrated at that moment and saying like you know this is this is who I am now right I'm never going to appreciate clothes I'm never going to get back to this and basically I had in my head said like I I don't have a choice this is just this is just what it is and it was it was tough to think that and when I started to switch what I realized is that actually I can be what I want and I can actually create some of these opportunities. So I started thinking about what choices do I actually have to make to get to a different space, to, to feel differently about myself. 
And some of the choices I made was like that commitment to exercising at the same time every day, that commitment to eating healthier, the commitment to honestly intermittent fasting, fasting. And that's not for everybody. I'm not a doctor. Don't take any medical advice. Don't base your diet on anything I say, but I had to try something different. But for a long, long time, I just felt this is what it is. And there's nothing I can do about it. And that happens in our professional lives. That happens in our personal lives. But if you just step back, and it's not always easy. I don't want to pretend that, you know, sometimes we're like, hey, I'm leaving this job no matter what. You got bills to pay. You got people to take care of. I get that. But you do have that choice. You got to figure it out. And I feel sometimes when we make that choice, then we become determined to make something happen, to make sure that we're moving forward. And so I just wanted to kind of talk about that, share it as it was on my mind. And I want you to think about as you're going into this week, you're going into this, you know, maybe second half, maybe this full year, whatever. What's something that you're not really happy about? What's something that you are struggling with? And what's a different choice you could make? What's a different pathway and here is the thing i've talked about this before maybe i'm being repetitive (laughs) when we actually sometimes go through this process we're so determined to be resilient and and actually just keep moving forward and just you know stick through it and sometimes failure is actually sticking with something that we know does not work and the reality of this is sometimes the best move we can do is not moving forward, it's going in a different direction. And so I want you to think about what is that different direction? What is that different opportunity that you can actually take advantage of and taking some of that ownership over the process and thinking about that choice? And it might not be easy and this might be like some really tough words for you to say, but I think that if you embrace them and visit this, and it might be something small, it might be something big, But what's that choice that you could make that helps you move forward, right? And looking at that, and as I said, once I made that decision to to leave that job, it made me more committed to find something else, to figure out a different way to move forward. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. I wanted to get off my chest. Um, But thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Mindset Monday. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for all the support. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for all you do. Take care.